Welcome back to the Morning Wrap. It is Tuesday, so it's time for our Pet of the Week segment. And joining me right now is our guest, Samantha Periano. Did I say that right? Perino. Perino. Gosh, you've been on okay. so many times, but I feel like I always ask you before we go on. It's okay. Anywho, you're from the LaBelle Foundation. Correct. You're amazing. It's thank a place you. dedicated to rescuing, rehabilitating, and advocating for dogs. So thank you so much for being here. And we have a special guest. This is Himalaya. Yes. And you just told me this really sad story. So you've had her um, for a year, right? And all like her, nine months now. And yeah. all of her siblings, five of them Eight were months, adopted? Yeah. Yes. And she wasn't? Yep. Aww. So they were born right around Christmas time and left in like a playpen on the streets of LA, like near South Central Compton area. And yeah, they were just left outside right around Christmas time. And thankfully someone alerted us to the situation. We got them and we held on to them for, because at the time they were really little. Yeah. We held on to them for a few weeks to make sure they weren't someone's. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's one of six. All of her siblings have been adopted um, a while ago, which is so sad. And yeah, we're just trying to find her forever home. She's never had a single application, Aww. which is so heartbreaking. I mean, she's not looking at the camera. She's being shy right now, <laughs> but she's a great dog, like super easygoing, uh -huh. loves to hike, great with kids, nice. potty trained. Yeah. Well, and I, I know that you're so passionate about this because every time you bring us a pup, you'll say, I, you know, I just don't understand why, why no one has put in an application to rescue her. And this is one of the cases that you're saying, like she's so sweet, she's so adorable, she's kind of yeah. around. We had an hour ride here. She was perfect in the car, yeah. head out the window, like, <laughs> out. It was just great. loving life. <laughs> okay, so home. tell me a little bit about, okay. I mean, I know it's hard because um, you know, to, to figure out what type of breed. Yeah. But let me tell us what you know so far and also the process. You can, she can go on the ground if she wants I to. I feel like she's okay. gonna run away. Okay. The camera was scaring her okay. earlier. Um, she is a shepherd mix. Okay. She's full grown. This is her size. So she's oh, not great. that big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like eight, nine months now. They were born right around Christmas. So yeah. So what should people know about a shepherd mix if they were going to be adopting for the first time? Totally. She's an active dog. Shepherds are very smart and very active. So she's easy to train. She knows her basic commands, all of that, but she's active. Like she needs to go on hikes. She needs exercise. Mm -hmm. And so she would be best suited to a home with a yard, things like that. And that's what we're looking for for her. I think we actually have some video of her running around or possibly showing us how to sit. Look it. And I mean, call. and shake. Oh my gosh. She's so She's so cute and adorable. She's really good. I love this. Okay. And she ha is in a foster home with kids, mm -hmm. so she's good with children. Um, they haven't had a single potty accent or anything with her, so she's, she's a really good dog. Okay, so what's the adoption process like? Go to our website, labellefoundation.org, mm -hmm. and submit an application for her, and then we'll reach out. We can do a meet and greet. You guys can meet her and spend time with her, and then hopefully it's a perfect fit. Well, I feel like every time I go to your social media page, you have so many more followers, and Thank you. unfortunately, you have a lot of animals looking for forever homes. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the foundation itself. Yeah, so we are a foster-based rescue, which means all of our dogs are in foster homes with people. We currently have 186 dogs, wow. and we are getting requests to take more dogs every day and we are a woman run <laughs> she wants to go away <laughs> woman run it's okay organization come here, come here. Himalaya hi yeah okay um, <laughs> a women run organization yes and we do Hello. about a hundred and 120 adoptions every month. Oh, wow. Um, and yeah, we're always looking for more fosters, more adopters, people to support, donate, volunteer their time for transports, all of that. We It takes a village to do what we do. <laughs> and you know, and I was reading online because I, I my husband and I were, were looking to foster for you guys, but Thank do you, you have a rule? Did I read the rule right? That mm -hmm. you can foster, but you can't adopt the first foster. Yeah, <laughs> so we typically do not allow first time fosters to adopt their dog because our foster applications are pretty much always blowing up. I mean, uh -huh. it depends on the time of year, but a lot of people want to foster. And then a lot of people will make a very emotional decision. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I don't, can't imagine giving it back, but they're not actually like qualified or ready for the dog. It's just Got why it. they sign up to foster, not adopt, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we do make exceptions from time to time and we work with our fosters. We, I mean, they're a huge part of what we do and we really need them. So yeah, yeah. but a lot of our fosters end up adopting, just not their first one. Like most of our fosters will foster like three, four, five, Five times and then end mm -hmm. up finding the dog they're in love with. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love this. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. We're going to pull up a full screen graphic so you can take a little look at Himalaya one more time and have more information on if you're interested in adopting her. She's absolutely adorable. Thank Shepherd you. mix, just so cute. I'm yeah. um, actually with the LaBelle Foundation. Yes. Um, not the pity committee, but 
LaBelle Foundation. We're going to put all this information up on our website as well. Yes. And you guys are super active on social media too. So Thank you. if anyone wants to reach out to them, it has been. Yeah, send you know, us a DM. Yeah. We're here for you. More questions. Amazing. I love Thank it. You. Thank you so much. Of course. We're so and grateful. Thank you. You were so good. Yes. <laughs> giving me eye contact.